Which of the following statements is true regarding arc flash warning requirements for electrical equipment as specified in the NEC? And the correct answer is to warn qualified persons in non-dwelling units. Let's check out the paraphrase code language. When we head to 110.16a, electrical equipment including switchboards, switchgear, panel boards, industrial control panels, meter socket enclosures, and motor control centers when installed in non-dwelling units and likely to require examination, adjustment, servicing, or maintenance while energized must be marked in the field or the factory to warn qualified persons of potential electrical arc flash hazards. This marking must comply with 110.21b and place so it's clearly visible to qualified persons before any examination, adjustment, servicing, or maintenance. Yes, this does technically warn everyone, but the NEC is all about warning and training and building up the qualified person. Now let's take a look at the requirements that it said that we had to meet in 110.21b. This is paraphrased code language. It says, and this is talking about when you're applying these type stickers, it says, the marking must warn of hazards using effective words, colors, and symbols, or a combination of these. The informational note lets us know that there are in the there's an ANSI standard that offers guidelines for suitable font sizes, words, colors, symbols, and label placement. Number two said the label says the label must be permanently affixed to the equipment or wiring method and must not be handwritten. The exception to this is that there are portions of labels that might need to be filled out on site, like voltage, voltage class, and all these different things, and those are allowed to be handwritten, but not the warning itself. And number three says the label must be durable enough to withstand the environment at where it is applied, meaning that if you are in a sunny location or if you are in a wet location, it must be durable to withstand those environments. And the same thing goes for corrosive environments as well. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.